Yo, what's going on, guys? Just to say, here back with another video. Today, we'll be playing some uh, solos on Fortnite. And today, um, we'll see if we can get a Fortnite Battle Royale dub. If not, well, we'll see what happens. As you can tell, I did buy the Battle Pass, and my Battle Pass tier is currently 58. Um, what I'm trying to get is higher than maybe 58. Uh, that means including challenges, I need to start doing them. It's currently Tuesday at, um, I believe 10.05 actually, it's 10.05, so yes, I should be in school, but today I have an eye, eye doctor's appointment, and so today we'll be talking about a story of mine. I love this story, it's called the Barbecue Burger Story. So, what this is but consensually, the series is going to be about me playing video games while I talk about um, some stories that I have growing up. Um, this one's called the Barbecue Burger Story. So, growing up, I always wanted to go out, but if any of you guys are Asians, you would know that parents are usually strict about going out, having food, and like, if it's not with them, it's it's not with anyone. You have to stay home, you have to do this, you have to do that, you're always gonna have to be by their side. It could, it's not always about Asian parents sometimes, it could always also be just parents who are overprotective about their children. So, me personally, as I, I was growing up, I always wanted to go out, go out with friends, go out with uh, family, I don't know, family with friends, basically. Um, I didn't get to do that until I was in seventh grade, where I fought for my rights and I told them, "Hey, I don't think that this is. I don't think this is right. I think you should let me do um, a little bit more than just uh, than just staying home and doing nothing." So they said, uh, "They said no," and obviously I started arguing with them. I had to tell him, hey, look, um, I feel like I should be treated better instead of being treated like shit. So, obviously, my parents thought that was the wrong thing to say, the wrong time to say it. So, they said, yo, if you want to, just leave and uh, don't, don't come back. Um, so, I was like, okay, well then if you want to be like that I'll be like that too so I left and um, uh, later on that day they said yo we, uh, I'm sorry um, we'll let you do a little bit more of what you want to do instead of uh, instead of you not having more freedom Instead of you having less freedom to do whatever. Instead of you guys having uh, no freedom to do whatever, I'll think about letting you guys have more freedom. And I was like, at that point, I was like, yes, I'm finally getting what I want. Um, I'm finally having more freedom. Anyways, that's another story for another time. This story is about me growing up. I've always wanted to go out. Um, this is later on in life when my parents started letting me go out with friends, and so, here it is. It was my friend's, uh, birthday. It was my friend's birthday, and, um, I wanted to hang out with him. So... So, it was cool because... Um, I wanted to hang out with him. He invited me to a place that I would know today as, um, as, uh, one of the funnest places I've ever been to. It was, uh, if you guys know about it, Dave and Buster's, Dave and Buster's is so good. They have a food place and they have everything. So, he invited me to a place called Dave and Buster's. This is my first time ever going to Dave and Buster's. Keep that in mind. So, when he told me, hey, yo, let's go to Dave and Buster's, I was like, what's that? They told me, hey, it's an arcade, it's like Chuck E. Cheese, but it's a little bit more grown-up. So I was like, that's great. Like, 
Where do I where do I go for that? They said check Google Maps. I checked Google Maps and found out that we were going to the Henderson one. So uh not the Henderson one, the um Summerlin one. When I went to the Summerlin one, um it was huge. It was uh basically a mall. It wasn't the first time I've been to the um Summerlin uh mall, downtown Summerlin. And um so when I went I had more of a oh my god that was like oh my god nostalgic feeling towards it because of the fact that I had a lot of fun uh, in the same places that I've never been. Anyways, the barbecue story goes that after we all played, um, after we all played uh, with um, with uh, the arcade games, we decided hey we're hungry we should go get something to eat. So, so we tried to, um, so we went out to, um, eat food, uh, in their, uh, restaurant, so to speak, and so his mom ordered anything that we wanted, and, um, we got a barbecue bird, uh, out, they came in for the main dish, or they came in for the drinks. And what I said was the dumbest thing. I said, uh, I said, um, can I get a barbecue? Burger? And I'll, after that, I was embarrassed. My friends had to point out that she was saying drinks, but after that, I was so embarrassed over the fact that I said barbecue burger. And uh, and she was asking for drinks. So from now on, everyone suggests that I more or less talk about barbecue burgers now because of the fact that I did that, and I could uh, nevertheless agree to it because of the fact that I messed up that point. I, not the end of the story. After that, we went. Uh, she came back around. She was like, "What do you guys want to um, eat?" I wasn't paying attention again. I said. Uh, I want a medium rare, and she's like, uh, I, I was asking what you want to eat, and she's, and so we were like, bro, uh, just get him a barbecue burger, uh, and so after that I was just even more, like, embarrassed. That's why I kind of still. I'm getting used to the outdoors and how people and how um, how I was treated as a child. I wasn't treated poorly, it's just I felt like I needed more freedom towards doing what I wanted to do. So the life's lesson here is that you should always be paying attention and all that good stuff because if you're not paying attention you're gonna seem really embarrassing, you look really dumb. And uh, that's the next thing you want. That's the next thing you want other people to see you as dumb and embarrassing. And so, after which. After which, I talked to. Uh, After which I talked to um I talked to my friends said I've never dined out like at this level of eating food and uh, eating just in general I've always eaten indoors I don't know they gave me a little bit of forks and I was like which fork is which like am I supposed to eat this fork with this fork or am I supposed to eat this fork with this fork and at that point I was just lost I didn't know what to do until my friend pointed out that oh my god you're uh, Justin it's fine just eat and then so I started eating in my point of view I didn't know we were supposed to eat with our hands with a burger I thought it'd be more polite to eat with your um, fork and a knife so what I did was I got a fork and I just started cutting and just poking and eating it 
let me tell you, that's one of the dumbest things you can do. Look, you you're trying to make yourself look nice, but I mean, it's a at the end of the day, it's a burger. Eat the burger like a man. And so, after which I actually started to notice that um that everyone else who ordered a burger was eating it with their hands. So I was like, bro, are we supposed to eat with our hands or our or not? And so at the end of the day we basically had um we basically had a whole session of just laughter because at the end of the day it was all fun and jokes because of the fact that we all made mistakes that day and it was fun because it was his birthday and we had a little bit of leeway here and there and just all that in general it was fun but that was one of the first times I went out tell me if you guys like these story videos and um, if you guys do Please leave a like down below. Comment what your favorite part about this was. And uh, if you didn't like it, dislike it. At the end of the day, I'm here to make sure that you guys like the content that I am posting. If you guys don't, what's the point in me being here? Um, and thank you guys and have a great day.